Welcome to Food 411 for One, the cooking show for people who live alone in cramped apartments. Today, I'd like to share with you my thoughts on the Food Network firing Robert Irvine and canceling Dinner Impossible. It seems he lied about cooking for the British royal family in the White House. Well, like Mr. Irvine, I also have not cooked for the British royal family or the White House. If I could have cooked for the White House, I would have picked the Jimmy Carter White House. I would have made peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for him. Because he was a peanut farmer, and I was 10 years old at the time, and that was my best recipe. Bill Clinton was famous for stopping at McDonald's while jogging. Maybe if I could have cooked for him, I could have made something healthy that would have prevented his subsequent open-heart surgeries. A few years ago, George W. Bush passed out and scraped up his face after choking on a pretzel. If I could make something for President Bush, it would be more pretzels, dry pretzels, dry, hard, sharp pretzels, and no water anywhere within reach. To meet the high standards to which cooking show hosts are now held, I have some confessions of my own to make. To my audience, I want you to know that I am deeply sorry if I've misled you. To executives at the Food Network, I want you to know that I can lie just as well and keep a secret for just as long as Robert Irvine. I mean, I assume you're keeping the money the sponsors paid you, and he's keeping the money that you paid him, and I want that same deal. So here goes. Despite my concluding remarks at the end of some previous episodes, I never had any intention of producing programs about rice, George Foreman grills, or meat thermometers. I thought it was an obvious joke in an inherently nonlinear medium, like streaming video, but I understand that there are some people who believe everything they see on TV or their computers. Also, the buttermilk that I tried to use in the waffle episode was truly rancid and smelly, but the green color came from food coloring. Please forgive my enthusiastic promotion of dairy freshness. Next time on Food 411 for One, well, that joke's ruined forever. Thank you, Robert Irvine. Whatever it is, I'll see you then. Well, I won't literally see you, it's just a figure of speech. Honesty sucks. <laughs>